Good morning, my name is Dick Berquist. Uh, we're here today at a dog, which is a Dutch oven gathering. It's something that's been kind of a term that's been created in the last few years. They used to call it a potluck, but the dog is basically a Dutch oven potluck where you get friends to get together and they bring their Dutch ovens and they bring anything they want to cook. You cook them together, you prepare them, put them on the fire and cook them in your Dutch ovens and when everything's done you take them out, set them on the table, spread out all the Dutch ovens and you share everything that was cooked together. And it's a really fun event. Uh, we have a few friends here today at our house uh, to try this out and, and to learn each other's techniques. Everybody has different techniques. I do one thing one way, other people do a thing another way, but there's no really right or wrong way, just whatever works. My first year at the College of Southern Idaho in Twin Falls, Idaho, they offered a Dutch oven class and they do it every spring. It's just a one credit class and it's one day a week and we would meet on Mondays. They set us up into groups and kind of basically gave us free reign to cook whatever we wanted and, and also talk about a certain aspect of Dutch oven, whether it was the history, um, cleaning them, seasoning them, um, how to pack them. Anyway, we were the first ones to cook and that's kind of the basic, that's where I learned the basics of Dutch oven. Um, of course, Dick here, he's like the Dutch oven guru. Um, at least for Weezer, he's the Dutch oven guru. Um, and he's a family friend and so we did this Dutch oven gathering probably, how long ago was it? It's been probably seven, eight years ago. It's been a long time, seven or eight years. Um, that was my first Dutch oven gathering and then this year we, we made it a goal that we wanted to set up something and, and do it here in Weezer again. Because it's just so fun and you get to enjoy company, there's lots of people that you get to talk to and have great food. Um, and I get to learn from Dick a little bit. He's been teaching me how to season them and how to take care of the Dutch oven. And that's my story with Dutch ovening. I hope I can take off with it and, and share my knowledge with others. So now you've had the, tall, the long and the short of Dutch oven cooking. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> my introduction to Dutch ovens began at a young age when I was a young man or young boy, I guess. We'd go to family reunions down in Preston, Idaho, a place called Willow Flats where we go now. And we always cooked in Dutch ovens for our big meal. We'd cook potato, Dutch oven potatoes and some kind of meat. And we'd have, you know, four, 10 or 14 Dutch ovens going, cook for 150 people. So that's kind of where I got introduced. I used to see them do it, and then pretty soon as I got older and had kids, I thought, I want to do that for myself. So I finally got my first Dutch oven and started cooking that way. And uh, pretty soon I bought another one and then another one, and until now I have over 40 Dutch ovens. It became an addiction. And then we get into cast iron, fry pans, skillets, griddles. And so we get a lot of cast iron, but we enjoy cooking with cast iron and collecting cast iron. It's a fun hobby. But uh, over the years, I've acquired, started off building homemade cooking pans, fry pan, fire pans. And now I've got homemade ones plus bought ones, just a variety of things. But you don't have to have all that. You can start off with a single pan that you use for oil changing pan that's metal to put holes in, one Dutch oven, and even a hammer will work as a lid lifter, a claw hammer will work as a lid lifter, a pair of pliers. So it's not really a lot to get into, it just you have to do it. And it's not hard, you just have to jump into it. Today we've got several Dutch ovens going, we've got a variety of food going today. We've got some meat, some vegetables, some breads. Uh, and some desserts, some ca uh, cobblers. I'm Maggie and I, my wife, I, I need to give credit to my wife. She puts, usually puts the recipes together, assembles the food, I put it in the Dutch oven and then I cook it and I get all the glory because everybody sees it coming out of the Dutch oven that I've been cooking in. But in reality my wife does the preparation and the recipes uh, credit goes to her. But as, as we put them in the Dutch oven, we're doing a Korean style barbecue ribs today which uh, is, is a, like a baby back rib with a special Korean sauce that we pour over and cook it slow until it falls off the bone. And then we're also going to do a, a braided spring roll, which is you take your biscuit dough and you lay it out flat and you, you put cream cheese and some vegetables in it and you, the, you, cross, you slice your dough so it has ears on it and then you cross them across so it's a, like a braided bread and we're going to cook that up today. That's what we're cooking. Some other people are cooking some barbecue chicken, and we've got some uh, uh, chuck roast going with some vegetables. There's some cobblers going. We've got a variety of food, and when we get done, if you, see, when, if you get a chance to see the pots laid out, you'll be surprised at how, how good a variety of food you get and how good it tastes coming out of a Dutch oven. One more thing on, on Dutch oven recipes and cooking with Dutch ovens. 
Uh, Dutch ovens are pretty versatile. Anything you can cook in your regular oven, you can cook in a Dutch oven. I try to tell people you don't need any fancy recipes. Just take a recipe that you normally would cook in your oven, take it and put it in a Dutch oven, and cook it in the Dutch oven. It's mainly a thing of controlling heat, bottom heat, top heat. If you're cooking uh, certain types of food like potatoes with where you got onions and stuff in where it's got some liquid juicy stuff, stews, meats with some juice in it, you can have equal heat top and bottom so it's cooking pretty heavy. If it's breads or something, you, lower the, you put less heat on the bottom, more heat on the top so you're baking from the top because you want that browning to take effect but you don't want to burn the bottom. So those are the things you just got to remember but it's, once you learn how to control the heat, you can cook anything in a Dutch oven, you can cook in a regular oven. So it's a real versatile piece of equipment. Dutch oven, cast iron care is always a big concern with people. They always say, well, I don't want to use it because it's too hard to clean, too hard to season, it's too hard to take care of, or they're too heavy. But uh, they're really not that hard to take care of. If you, when you buy Dutch ovens nowadays, they mostly come pre-seasoned. You don't have to really do any seasoning to them. In the old days, they weren't pre-seasoned. You had to scrub them out, clean them good, and then rub Crisco or, or shortening on them and then put them in a fire. I put them in a barbecue grill upside down for about an hour at four to 500 degrees, and that's all you have to do to season them. But now they're pre-seasoned, you just gotta maintain the seasoning. So when you cook in them, you wanna clean them out good when you clean them. But don't scrub them really hard because you scrub the seasoning out. You just rinse them out good with hot boiling water, scrape them out with a plastic scraper or something, get the food particles off so it's just a smooth, clean surface. But leave most of your, your you don't wanna take your black seasoning out, which is your patina. And then every time I cook in them, before I cook in them, I put a thin coat of Crisco grease on them on the inside so it'll continue to blacken that inside up and get blacker. The blacker they are, the better the seasoning and the better they cook and they're almost like Teflon. And uh, that's the way you want to do them if you can. And you just got to learn to take care of them. Not, not let what food sit in them and water sit in them, they'll tend to rust. And we've invited a few friends in the Louisiana area and yep, like to get together with other people over the period of times if we can and, and share how to do Dutch oven cooking. It's, it's a lost art in some ways. Pioneers used to use Dutch ovens all the time. If anybody would like to do another dog sometime or join us in one of these activities, you could contact me, Dick Berquist, at rdbergq at msn.com and, and contact me that way or you could call me on my cell phone 208-550-1160 and we could try to set up another time we get a group of people together and, and cook together if you're interested in Dutch oven cooking. If you've never done it before but you want to do it, you can still come to the dog, bring your stuff, and we'll help you figure out how to do it. So it's a good way to learn if you've never done one before.